So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second video tutorial for Ionic Framework in which we're going to take a look real quick how you can set up Ionic on your Windows or Mac computer and uh, if you're on Windows you might want to uh, watch the next one because I'm going to show you the exact same thing again on Windows. The process is 99% same for Windows and Mac and uh, if you want to set up with uh, uh, Mac tutorial only on Windows you can go ahead and follow along so what we have right here if you take a look in the documentation it says me to install Ionic via NPM and for NPM you need to have node installed so if you have node installed then it's good for those of you who do not have that and are running Mac what you can do is go to Google and type homebrew and this homebrew what this is is a package manager for Mac OS and it's quite handy you might want to use it all the time like if you want to install um, something like MySQL you can just go ahead and pre-install MySQL and you'll be up and running with that so just copy paste this line in your terminal and uh, paste it I'm not gonna do it and because I already have homebrew installed so once you do that you should be able to type brew here and you would see something like this so once you are done with that what you want to do is write brew install node and this is for Mac users once you do that it will install node on your Mac and I already have that installed so it should just say me that it has just uh, found the installation you can see that it gives me a mod warning that node is already installed well that's good for us once you do that, you should pretty much see a message like node is installed on your Mac. Once you do that, you should be able to get access to this NPM thing. So, yeah. Now we have NPM ready with us. Now we want to do is install this Cordova and Ionic on our Mac. And what this Cordova is, is pretty much, it's, it is the base engine of uh, uh, wrapping up your HTML, CSS and JavaScript into a native application. Ionic is just a wrapper around it. Ionic provides you a lot of components and uh, list views and navigation and all that stuff so that your application might look and feel a bit more native instead of just a simple web view. So Ionic kind of makes sure that your application doesn't look like a web page and Cordova manages your application so that you can actually use that HTML, CSS and um, JavaScript and all the stuff on your device itself. So Ionic technically is built on the top of Cordova. So again, you can just go ahead and install Cordova and Ionic with a global flag. And once you do that, you should be able to see Ionic and Cordova installed on your Mac. I'm not going to do this because I already have that installed. So you could pretty much do Cordova version and you should get the nope you should get the version back and similarly with ionic as well you should pretty much get three point something version as the version right so once you have done that you should be able to now start an application for ionic and to do that what i'm gonna do is go to desktop and let me just clear this and open the code damn folder open the tutorials folder and uh, we have the ionic here but let's just leave that I'm gonna say right here just like it says me ionic start my app taps so I'm gonna say ionic start uh, hello world and taps now what this does is that it creates an application in our case it would be hello world and it would be a tabbed application which would mean that it would just give you three tabs at the bottom of your screen as a boilerplate to get started with and hit enter and you should see that it would create a directory for you and it will download all the resources it wants to for this application and it should take a minute or two for you to get to this point and uh, you would see this link this app to your ionic i'm not going to go with that for now so you can see that our application is now set up and if i go into hello world and write 
right here if we take a look in the documentation it says us to run our app just go to our folder and write ionic serve now this ionic serve would start a local development server which you can make use to take a look at your application while you're developing so you do not need to have any sort of emulator or anything like that to actually look at what you are doing because again ionic works on the html css part which would uh, be visible on your browser itself so you can see that it opens on port 8100 and it should just open anytime now you can see that we have got our application simple application like that running and this is the tab view i was talking about so you can just visit these tabs and this is the boilerplate ionic provides with that uh, thing we had in here with these tabs so yeah that's all pretty much it for this tutorial and that is how you would set up a very basic um, ionic application on a mac and in the next tutorial we're going to take a look at how to set up the same thing on windows so if you have done that correctly on your windows machine as well you are free to go on the tutorial number i don't know next to next maybe it's fourth i guess yeah so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and again i have my patreon link in the description if you feel generous you can donate some amount there i would really appreciate there and yeah that's all for this one again and see you then on windows